you're looking to start an autograph collection, well, I've got the five best places and probably the easiest places to get autographs. Hey guys, it's Josh, the 90 Know It All, coming to you today. Once again, talk about five different places you can get autographs. But guys, before we do that, could you please go down, hit the like button, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and hey, leave a comment below on some places that you like to get autographs at. But guys, let's jump right into this. These are the five places that I love to get autographs at, and really probably the easiest places to get autographs at uh, in terms of baseball. In terms of basketball, football, those places... Not necessarily the best locations. I don't know all those things, but here are some five easy places to get autographs. Number one, caravan events. Pretty much every team in Major League Baseball has these little events where some of their players will travel to different locations and sign autographs. The Seattle Mariners had that. In fact, they just had their guys come down a couple days ago uh, Shed Long, who's going to be their second baseman this year, uh, he was in that group. Last year they had uh, Justice Sheffield, who is one of their young pitchers, who hopefully is the future of the team. But they've had guys, a number of guys, who are pretty good um, throughout the years come down to the caravan. And it's an easy autograph because they're there to sign autographs. So check with your team. Usually on their website, it has caravan event or something like that. And it'll say where they're at and who's going. And really, if you live within 200 miles of a team, odds are you're probably going to have an event within driving range of you, um, you know, at some point in the off season. Best place number two, Fan Fest events. Pretty much every team, except for the Seattle Mariners, has a fan fest event. Now the Mariners used to have a fan fest event every year. It was the last weekend of January is when they would do it. It was great. They did it that way for over a decade at least. And then two years ago, they canceled it. Last year they moved it to March. And then this year they canceled it again because they're doing some Christmas light thing on the field in December. And so they can't get the field ready in time to do a fan fest event i think it's all a load of crap because a lot of teams do their events in convention centers and that'd be great but either way if you want to get easy autographs fan fest events are amazing now you go to some teams it's gonna be pretty packed pretty crazy you know it's gonna be tough to get a lot of autographs but you can get a few autographs you know but there are teams like the the dodgers they don't just bring in their their team they bring in guys from the past. They have the legends come in and sign autographs as well. It's an event that, honestly, I know Kelly wants to go down to one day. I know I want to go down to it one day because just seeing the names of the people who are at that thing, it's amazing. So, Fan Fest events are great because they're designed, once again, just for autographs. That's what they're for. They're, you go there, they have a little question and answer times, and then they have autograph times. So if you're looking for autographs, once again, caravan events, fan fest events. Spot number three, for me, in my opinion, the best place to get autographs of major leaguers is spring training. Now, there's two different sides to this. If you're talking about Florida spring training, that's tougher. Those teams are so far apart that you can get to one game, you know, hopefully get two teams. A lot of their stadiums aren't the best for autograph seekers. There are some that are decent out there. Uh, and a lot of the players understand that during spring training, you know, you find ways to get to the fans and get autographs. So that's cool. Now jumping to Arizona, that has some amazing places for autographs. In fact, you can go out to the practice fields and get autographs. The Dodgers and White Sox in Glendale have this beautiful area, their practice facilities, and the players walk right through the fans. I mean, literally right through them. And they'll stop and sign autographs. Uh, a few years ago, I went to the White Sox side first. And there was maybe 15 autographers there. And half the team stopped and signed for all of us. It was, it was just amazing seeing all these guys sign. They sit and talk. The Dodgers on the other side did that. 
the uh, Mariners and Padres actually have their practice facilities you can get out to, which I've gotten a lot of autographs out there. But their stadium, when the players leave the field, there's actually an autograph alley that they can walk along the fence and be protected from the game. So fans can be in the stadium getting autographs and guys will sign there, man, for half an hour, 45 minutes. It's it's pretty common to see that um, at stadiums like that. So spring training, great place to get autographs. T or place number four, minor league games. You want to get some autographs? Go to a minor league game. Yeah, maybe not all the players there will be Hall of Famers or All-Stars or even Major Leaguers. But minor league baseball is a great place to get autographs. I mean, when I used to work for the vol or intern with the Salem Kaiser Volcanoes, man, it'd be so fun to see the kids go, and they would just stand there as the guys would be hitting the cage, and as a guy would come out, he would sign the card or ball or, or whatever the kids had, and these kids would, would end up walking away with, you know, 15, 20 guys from the team signing their stuff that day, and that happened every single day. So minor league parks are an amazing place to get autographs. Once again, not all those guys are going to be major leaguers, but there are some guys on every team in the minors that are going to make it to the major league level, get their autographs. They might turn out to be, you know, an all-star, might turn out to be more than that. So minor league ballparks are a great place to get autographs. Now, best place number five, before I give you guys this one, I'm going to tell you some places not to get autographs and not the ways not to get autographs. So one place not to get an autograph is the Major League Ballpark. Now, I have gotten autographs there. I've gotten some autographs, some pretty big names. Clayton Kershaw I've gotten at a Major League Ballpark. Uh, Nelson Cruz, amongst others. So it does happen, but it's very rare. It's much harder to get an autograph of a player before a game at a Major League Ballpark. Once again, there are some guys who make a point of signing before every game or after every game. But it's a lot fewer guys. Not like spring training where you can get half the team in one day. Major League Ballparks, you might get lucky to get three or four guys. Once again, it does happen, but it's far rarer. Another place not to get autographs is sending it to a guy's personal home address. Now, some guys are okay with it. Some guys aren't. Some people have had their address leaked out, and that bothers them, and they don't want that. So if you do want to send stuff through the mail, that's fine. Uh, a lot of players, if you send it to their team uh, or their spring training headquarters, they'll get it and sign it there and send it back. Not all guys will do it, but some guys will. And there's some guys who are retired who actually have different foundations where if you send it to them and include like $5 for their foundation, they'll sign stuff and send it back to you. So just kind of be aware. Don't always send it to a guy just because you have their address. Make sure you check and see if it's okay. So guys, we are jumping to number five. Number five, the best place, and this is probably the coolest place to get autographs. And I know there's gonna be a lot of people who don't want me to say this because they don't want it to get out. They want to keep it a secret, but it's the Arizona Fall League. In the fall, in October, and they've changed the dates a little bit. So I think it's part of September and into October and stuff. The Arizona Fall League has some of the best prospects in all of baseball come together in Phoenix and they play. Now, getting autographs can still be a little bit of a challenge to this because most of the fans who go to these games are there for autographs. But here's the second part of that. There's only about 300, 400, maybe 500 fans total at each game. So if you're looking just to go watch some great baseball and sit as close to the field as you want, Arizona Fall League is the place to go. But it also works good for, for getting autographs. Now, one thing you got to be aware of is that depending on who's playing who, you may see a lot of the autographers on one side. And if you go to the other side, you can almost have your choice of players to call over and get autographs because everybody's focusing on this player, this team, that type of stuff. But there's been some amazing players in the Arizona Fall League. Uh, I think it was 2011 or 2012 that Mike Trout and Bryce Harper were teammates in the Arizona Fall League. A uh, little crazy there. Wish I would have been down there that year. I actually ended up going down the year after. 
Um, still, there's great talent there every year. Uh, some of my favorite autographs came from the Arizona Fall League. So if you're looking for guys who are about to hit it big, guys who are future all-stars, guys who are really looking at being breakout stars, the Arizona Fall League has that. You can get lots of autographs, uh, get cards of the guys. Uh, if you don't have cards, you can get those blank cards, the blank autograph cards you can order. Uh, but yeah, the Arizona Fall League is an amazing place to get autographs. So guys, once again, my top five places and probably the best places to get autographs, caravan events, fan fest, spring training, minor league parks, and the Arizona Fall League is easily my cream of the crop. So guys, that's my choices. If you have some other options, some other places you think are great for getting autographs, leave a comment down below and let me know. But guys, I'm Josh, the Now You Know It All. Thanks for taking your time to watch this. And you know what? I will catch you guys later.